back. On Bosco today. Um, to them, just uh, about 20 kilometers before you get Poch. Poch Strum. And uh, we're going to see if we can uh, catch a couple of fish today. And uh, according to some other guys that uh, fished the previous weekend, a lot of small fish, um, but they are very nice fish. Bass on this dam, um, quite nice big ones. Um, so we're gonna try and see if we can catch those. Um, I haven't uploaded a video for quite a while, as you can see. Um, I had some issues with the camera on the previous trip. Um, they are a bit of footage there. Uh, did fish another dam, small little dam called Tabu's. Um, the wind blew us to absolute crap there. Um, caught one there. Uh, well, two. One very small one, and then one just over about 37 years. I'll, uh, I'll put that video up just now. Um, just quickly, you can see what I caught there. Oh, yeah. This feels like a better bass. Definitely feels like a better bass. Yo, yo, this thing is staying down. Oh, nice bass. Up, uh, or something like that, but uh, let's let it go. That's it. Uh, we went to Middleburg then. Yes, the wind just blew the crap out of us there. Um, I was in the water there for about an hour and uh, got off because it was just too hectic. Um, I will um, also pop up a video about that as well, how the, <laughs> well, you, you will see how the wind blows. Um, I didn't catch any fish there though. Um, most of the guys came off the water because it uh, was just too dangerous to, to fish. Um, but we will surely catch something today. Um, the weather's going to be fine. Um, the wind's not going to bother us like a middle bit there, um, especially on this dam. Um, when the wind comes up on this dam, it gets absolutely hectic as well. Actually, it becomes quite dangerous. So, but we're not, with the forecast, if I look at the forecast, we're not going to have any of those issues today. So, um, battling out to my first place where I'm going to see if I can catch a fishy or two and then I'll be back with you. So enjoy. I just caught a bass just now. Um, <laughs> I did not uh, I did not switch the camera on. Huh? Clever of me. Huh? Um, should get another one yeah. Um, a little green pumpkin fluke. So we should. Is it going for it? So, uh, come on, pick it up. As I reel it in on top of the water, it nails it, so that tells me the next one that needs to go in is this one. Okay, so on, on the Zeman finesse frog, um, 
I should be able to nail them. Yeah, now. Ah, it's chasing it. That's it, got it. A small one up there. Yeah, at least it's a fish. And a uh, small little one. Hopefully there's a big one in between. Okay, I think. Damn it. This is the big one that I was talking about. one that I was talking about came loose chuck this back in with a bit of salad definitely uh, definitely a bit of bass okay. that's 31 uh, 32 centimeters so yeah, so, as you can see, water again very clear. Off he goes. Clean it up. Yeah, and this one I caught. I think they, but it's a bit of a reaction bite. I was busy reeling it in. Thought it was a crappy cast. I just reeled it in and as I was reeling it in, I took it, um, made it extremely small, can let it go. And uh, got this type of baby bass color on now, um, it's a Z-Man fluke. Um, so. so it was just a... As you retrieve, um, you just wind it in. I think. And uh, it's maybe something that you just need to do then if that is how they're going to bite it. Or maybe it was just one of the bass that was quite hungry. And uh, yeah. Oh yes. Yep. This is definitely a bigger bass, but it's, it's going straight for the grass because I've got a huge grass patch here between me and the bass. So this is definitely a better bass. So yeah, um, <laughs> no tweaking of the rod or anything like that. It's just basically. Quick retrieve, and yeah, and that's how you figure out how they want it. Um, and if you go as well, there we go. So yeah, um, quicker retrieve, and that's what we figure out. That, that, that's. That's part of bass fishing. Are they going to take it slow? Are they going to take it faster? So they definitely take it when you move it a bit faster. So that's what we now going to see because they 
say one fish is a fish, two fish is two, or two, um, three fish is a pattern. So, two now. Let me get it in there and uh, let it sink a bit. And Let's see. Oh yes, yep. You just move it faster and um, they pick it up and they swim into the grass. It's just it. He's got me solidly in the grass there now. That's quite a pity. Maybe if I give him some line, I won't exactly go in there otherwise. I'm suppose I have to go in there. Huh? So, yeah, that's a... It's definitely a faster movement, and uh, I seem to like that. Uh, I'm gonna go and fetch it. It might not even be on the line anymore, but yeah. Hmm, that's a quite a of gauze that he swam into. Ah, he's still on the line. He's still there. Um, he's still there. <laughs> I did all that trouble. I went through all that trouble for this awesomeness. And again, just uh, busy reeling in, and it takes it, uh, it comes off, but it wasn't big enough to upgrade anything. So I can't show you that one, but uh, yeah. Um, Small little one again. I'm gonna help with any anything. <laughs> Definitely not an upgrade. But let's see. 